Hey guys, how are you today? Uh, especially Snap-on fans. So, here I have this half inch digital torque meter that today quit on me. I was in the middle of a big job, uh, ready to torque a few nuts. And so this thing stopped, stopped working. You shut off, it didn't turn on. I actually um, exchanged the batteries for new ones and so nothing happened well when i when i got home i started to disassemble the the tool so this thing right here these are t20s and they are hollow t20s uh, screwdrivers i forgot the name for it but i was able to remove only one which was on this side and the other ones kept spinning and they wouldn't come off. So what I did, I I actually force it and I, I open it. And as you can see, this, this brass part that goes inside right here, um, they were really solid and it broke. So the whole screw was spinning without coming out. So I had to like force it. I had to pry it with a, a snap-on. <laughs> screwdriver so I pry it up carefully and I I actually release whatever holds the screws then I saw the video on YouTube that they pull out this thing right here to see if it, it was missing ground this connection you need to remove this in order to this right here the, the, the mirror the euro mirror in order to slide this forward so you can see where it comes off, okay? So I checked that and looked like the, the wire here was okay. But then I started looking for another another problem, possible problem, and I found this ground wire was actually cut off. So right, as you can see right now, you can see isolation. That's because I already fixed it. You see right here? This is my fix, okay? And this this is where the location looks like. As you can see right here, that's the ground over there. You see it says ground, G N D. That's where the ground goes. So that one was actually broken. So that's why my that's why my my tool died. I gotta say a little feedback about Snap-on. Uh, this is not the first time that something for Snap-on breaks and and it's actually so cheap. So build up cheap. It's not on me to do something and fix up these problems. Just because I pay over $600 for this tool. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how now this thing turns on. Make sure I put the values correctly. Yeah, one, two, three. Uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Now you can hear that. Now it's actually on. There you go. Okay, so that was the problem. The ground wire was broken. I don't know how. This act this tool that actually sits, sits on my toolbox and so I don't know the, how this wire came off I guess the soldering use use the hook up well when they build it and just came off okay guys ho hopefully you you guys get help from this tool from this video take care